If you're swimming and it's not in the pool, that's open water. There's nothing else like it in the world. You really don't get to know San Francisco until you know the water. We have this incredible resource of this bay. Everywhere you look, there's like a nationally known landmark, an icon. And I kind of did a double take, like, you can just walk in. You can just, no one will stop you. You can just swim in it for free. I love open water swimming. It's challenging, it's beautiful, it's an experience. You've got to come and just take it a little at a time and you'll be amazed at who you become. I always say, you can let the ocean just kind of tap you on the shoulder and say like, hey there, right, right here, um, and just, just get a taste of it. We are at Aquatic Park in San Francisco near Ghirardelli Square with Waterworld Swim's weekly Swim with Pedro, Sunday Swim in the Bay. Waterworld Swim is an organization that I founded approximately 26, 27 years ago with the purpose of helping swimmers to be introduced in open water swimming. I grew up in Chile and South America where we have the 2,000 miles coast line. For me, it became a sort of a passion for the Pacific Ocean. I found a passion also to help others. Everybody's welcome, any level. First time to try open water. Are you like, really excited? Yeah, I'm really excited. We had people sometimes that they never swam in their life before, and I tell them, actually in the ocean, it's much easier to learn than in a pool. It's very cold, but it's also very manageable. I remember the first time I got in and my chest seized up. I was like, oh my gosh! Um, and I had a wetsuit on. Well, when you first hit the water, it's a shock, but you swim through it, and then your body just naturally warms up. I learned, because I'm very new, to breathe and to just enjoy and to say the cold is my friend, the current is my friend. I think the thing that still surprises me about open water swimming is that it doesn't take much to feel like you are in the middle of the ocean. Like even here at Aquatic Park, you look from the shore at the buoys and you say, oh, that's not that far. And you get to the buoys and you're like, oh my gosh, I am out here. And so it makes such a difference to be out there with a big group of people who are kind of also feeling it out, with coaches on kayaks and stand-up paddle boards looking out for you. This absolutely wild thing ends up also feeling really safe and like really part of a tight-knit community at the same time. You should never swim by yourself. So that's the reason that I created this group. We uh, coaches, we assist in trying to introduce people, teach them, and uh, to make the program safe too. So any level they can, they try, and they get addicted. Open water swimming is a sort of a therapy for your brain, a therapy for your body, it's a sport with no impact, and at the same time, it's challenging. So you learn how to be really quiet and really calm, even when the water tosses you everywhere. And isn't that what life is like? Life tosses you, right? You have to learn how to find your grounding. And when you can do that in the water, you can do that in life. And I think too, just for health and wellness, you're here with a community. There's something about knowing that every week you're going to have people waiting for you, who know you. They also do a lot of teaching, so they take you outside of the wall, so outside of aquatic park. You're not just jumping off a boat and guessing what you need to do. They tell you where the currents go, where not to swim, where to aim. So it's a lot of really good work they do. I hope they learn about the friendship among all the swimmers. They are all confronting the same thing. They're all doing the same thing. If you want to expand your limits and you want to get to know San Francisco in a way that no one else does, if you want to have an incredible new family of people who will have you discover new ways of being, just come to one swim and go a little at a time. <laughs>